Everyone, we are continuing our work here at the 8th Annual Memorial Day Metal Fest and brings me great pleasure to welcome from right here in San Antonio, the band called Last Battle. Howdy. <laughs> it's cool to finally be on here. Like, really? I grew, up, I grew up watching you on public oh access God, back really? in the day. That's, all we get That's about. how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again? That's how old we are. Watching you on the public access on, wow. on Paragon with the orange mics. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, great, guys. Thank you uh, for that. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, we've been doing our thing for a while, but, you know, we love what we do. Uh, glad that uh, you guys are here on the show, too, to talk about your band. So tell us a little bit about Last Battle. Well, we formed probably when 2000, high school. We went through a bunch of lineup changes, probably about six drummers. And I, I guess I would call the solid lineup finally formed in 2017. And we've done a lot. We've played in New Orleans, Oklahoma. Wow. We've done a few tourings. We had a few tours lined up, and then COVID happened. And what what time? high school did y'all go to? Down the street, Jefferson. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mustangs. <laughs> Jefferson, all right. All right. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, and we were talking a little bit off camera about your vibe. Share a little bit about what you guys do musically. Uh, musically, like if you're into bands like, let's say, Deftone, Chevelle, uh, with more of a modern flair than you totally might dig us. Like, I don't know. I look at Chino as like my top idol as a vocalist, even though like, I don't even look or sound like him. But <laughs> <laughs> but he's I an try. inspiration. He's like one of my biggest inspirations. Yeah, I love he's it. a he's like a icon here in San Antonio. Yeah, him yeah. and Morrissey for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, have you guys released any music officially? <clears throat> yeah, we have an EP out everywhere. It's called The Truth You'll Never Know. You can find it on Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere you can stream. Um, it's an EP? Yeah, it's an EP, five songs. Nice. Uh, the lead single on that one's uh, Pipe Dream, and everybody seems to love that song. And if you want to cry a little, we have a song called Alone Tonight. It'll put you in your feels. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guys get involved with the Memorial Day Metal Fest? Uh, we've been friends with Louderback for a while, and we probably played it now what four years this is four years in a row now yeah. oh really yeah so nice. it's become like a yearly thing it's like royal rumble to us yeah. all these bands get together and it's always during memorial day it's fun were y'all at the sixth annual when you did it at the park that outside yes yeah we were there too why didn't we chat, chat back then we were probably messed up <laughs> <laughs> we literally got there i remember and we had a cooler full of like well i drink pbr and he drinks shiner and we killed that as soon as we got there. And then, yeah, but to me, I don't even remember that show, but I heard it was good. All I remember <laughs> is that there's a lot of mosquitoes and bugs. Yes. And, and they were fucking with me and my crew all day. And we were sweating ass. I ate a lot bullets. of fucking hot dogs that day, too. <laughs> and like a bunch of Frito pie. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. But this is nice, huh? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a lot nicer. It's indoors. It's AC. AC. There's an actual bar, you know? Yeah. I don't have to worry about trying to make my own cocktails. So do you guys uh, play today? Uh, we play tomorrow, oh, okay. Sunday. Oh, that's right. At 4.20 p.m. on yeah. that stage back there. Yeah, well, so there's there's that stage, and then there's two on this side. Yeah, I think this one's called the military grade stage or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. Uh, I look forward. I, I'm, I might come out tomorrow, too, depending on how, how uh, worked up we get today. We got lots of interviews to do, and we're just getting started, so... Uh, you know, it's early in the afternoon. Thank you guys for showing up today and doing this. Uh, anything I missed? Any last words you want to share about Last Battle with the people out there? Um, we got another EP coming out this year. Yeah. We haven't titled it, but it sounds different than the first one. So, Do you guys record your own stuff? No, we, we, we try to find a good studio for it. Who did you do with your last one with? Uh, FL. Uh, oh, Fernando Lima. Fernando. Fernando Limas. Yeah, yeah, Limas. Yeah, he's a great guy. Great, great guy. Fucking great dude, great drummer. Um, I recommend recording with him. He's he's probably like top. He's here. he's uh he's up and coming. Uh, you know, he does good stuff, but every time I hear like some of his new recordings, it sounds like it's getting better. Yeah. 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 Like actually if you go and listen to like the the Truth They'll Never Know EP, we did that and it sounds great, but then we did a cover of Gigi Allen's Body You Scum and recorded it. And you can just hear the difference. And yeah, yeah. It's, and it's like, we thought that was good, and he got even better, and we're like, wow. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for coming out today. I appreciate oh, yeah. it. it was nice to and meet chatting you. with us. Uh, remember, everyone, we're out here at the 8th Annual Memorial Day Metal Fest. 
You just heard from Last Battle. More bands coming your way.